We have liftoff of the Apollo 11 Destination Moon exhibit at the Museum of Flight. And speaking of liftoff, check this out. This is a Rocketdyne F1 engine that helped propel the Apollos on their missions. This thing has 1.5 million pounds of power poundage power. I'm not going to get into the science of that. What I am going to get into is this. These are components of an F1 Rocketdyne engine. And here to tell us how they got here is Ted from the Museum of Flight. How, how did you guys get these here? Well, this is a long journey when you figure that they started out on the ground. They boosted the Saturn V rocket up to about 40 miles. Then they fell back into the ocean, stayed there for 40 years until Bezos expeditions found them. They brought them up restore them a bit, and now they're here. Unbelievable, what a great treat that you have these here. Just so incredible to see history alive and rescued. Thank you so much, Ted. Thank I wanna show you guys something else, come here. Some of these artifacts are absolutely incredible, mind blowing. Check this out. This, yeah, this is Buzz Aldrin's actual helmet. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way, because this, you guys, that is this. When I first saw this today, I actually cried. Yeah, I'm gonna admit I actually cried. And check out the secrets behind this. You can see if you look there, the writing. That was his cheat sheet for several things. And one of our favorite things was a secret note for what exactly? <laughs> There's actually a comment on that cheat sheet that says photograph boot print. So the iconic photograph of the first step on the moon, somebody in NASA marketing gave Buzz a little reminder to make sure to grab that photograph. <laughs> See, important back then. By the way, hey, this is Kat. She is with the Smithsonian. Kat Halpern, you have been touring this beautiful thing. This is it. This is the keystone, the cathedral, if you will, for several years. It's now in Seattle. Thank you for bringing it to us. Oh, it's our pleasure to have it here. Tell us all about it. So what you're looking at is the command module Columbia. This is the only portion of the spacecraft that took the astronauts to the moon to come back complete to Earth. So it, you're really looking at a national treasure. It's an incredible piece of history. I actually said when I first saw it, I, I likened it to seeing the Constitution for the first time. I mean, it is that incredible. But there's no glass separating it. You can really see all the detail. And speaking of detail, I, I just wanted to ask you one more thing. You can see, Jim, I don't know if you can like zoom in on that honeycomb pattern there. Um, but it is very important, this heat shield. And if, if you want to come over here at some point, please, Kat, tell us about the manufacturing of this. Every single little hole you see there was filled by hand. So the entire heat shield, um, it's a phenolic resin, and it was designed to keep the astronauts safe on this incredible journey. And yes, every single one of the over 372,000 plus cells was hand filled with something that amounts to a caulking gun. Wow. And then it was checked to make sure that there weren't any air bubbles, any kind of abrasions, nothing that could possibly cause a problem. And so you see on the heat shield, there are little uh, circular marks. Little and those are actually places where after testing, they went back in and drilled out a section that there might be an issue, refilled it to make sure that everything was perfectly ready to go. When you realize, when you look at everything here in this exhibit, you really start to see uh, how hard they worked, how much technology, and when you think about the fact that technology has grown so much since then, I mean, literally, they were using slide rules to do calculations in the module. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, you got to come see this because it's going to blow your mind to infinity and beyond. So don't forget to check out this incredible incredible exhibit, Destination Moon, the Apollo 11 exhibit at the Museum of Flight through September 2nd. You're not going to want to miss it. Back to you in studio.